There are tons of brushes in Critter and it can get really frustrating when you can't find the brush you want. So I'm gonna show you now how you can organize a few selected brushes into a toolbox that you can find really, really easy. And if you watch the video till the end, you'll get to see me use a toolbox with a few brushes in uh, to produce this quick sketch. This is not gonna be a painting video at all. This is gonna be a tutorial in Critter. And I'm going to show you how you can organize your brushes. So what I've got here is the Critter 4 default resources. And you can see there are a lot of brushes to choose from. And that would be quite daunting and confusing when you are trying to do a painting. If I pop this tab open, you can see we've got different categories already organized for us. For example, Digital Atelier, which has still got a lot of brushes in there, to be honest way more than I like to work with and um, but th this paintbrush or oil paintbrushes watercolors and pastels so you might want to split them into three categories for example uh, then we've got a category of erasers we've got three erasers in there which would be okay and then uh, ink for pen brushes and so on and there's one at the bottom called watercolor which I've created myself and put a few brushes in because I, I think you don't really need more than three or four brushes per painting so you might want to set it up so you can get to them really easy and I know you've got like a favorites but let's just create a what's called a tag so I'm going to create a tag and I'm going to type in this box where it says new tag uh, Steve's brushes which it, they're not my brushes they're not uh, something I've created I'm just going to select some brushes to put into it so once I've done that I click plus but we haven't got any brushes in there at all yet it's just an empty folder so if I go back to say the critter default resources I could say I want an eraser and I like this putty eraser this one here so I can right click on that and then assign to tag Steve's brushes so if I go back to Steve's brushes now we'll see that eraser in there and I want might want a pencil so we could go to the sketch box and just try some pencils uh, I'm not feeling any of these at the minute it's kind of more like it there's a blending uh, sort of a, a shading pencil and we've got so I could add that and I could add say this that pencil I like that as a sort of a sharp pencil so I could add that to my uh, tag so assigned to tag Steve's brushes and the pencil I could assign that to tag Steve's brushes so I've now got two pencils and a razor which previously would have been in different tags or I'd have gone to the default brushes and had to scroll through all of these to find them so I might want some just a couple of watercolor brushes yeah, we could use that wet paint. That would be quite nice for a watercolor. So I could add that to my kit. Sign to tag Steve's brushes. And maybe, what's this one? That could be nice for sort of softening off edges. So I could add that to my kit. And maybe one more. Don't like that one so much. Just go, oh, that's that one's all right. And it blends as well. So I could add that one. Assign to tag Steve's brushes. So if now, if I go to Steve's brushes, I've got 
three paintbrushes, an eraser, and a couple of pencils. Everything I need uh, to get me going with my drawing. Whatever that is going to be. I'm going to shut up now and leave you with a quick demonstration of me using this very small selection of tools to produce a quick sketch. So there we have it, that's how to create a tag and then assign brushes, erasers and pencils and tools to that tag to create your own custom toolbox which you can then use uh, to quickly select brushes for a project as I've just shown you with this very quick pencil sketch and well pencil sketch and colour wash I guess really. Hi, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider giving me a thumbs up because it helps the algorithms and all of that good stuff in YouTube. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and ticking the bell because I have got lots of videos all about digital painting and I would love to be sharing those with you. So hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye. <laughs>